The internet can be a very tricky place. One day you wake up, you see your favorite streamer being accused of being a corn star. Traumatizing pictures and videos are being shared online, but nothing is verified. Anyone with at least one brain cell would think it's either AI or a doppelganger. Then a few hours later, that one brain cell gets stumped, stepped on, and it turned out this whole thing was actually true. And sometimes you're a creator, you post dog shit content on YouTube for years. You post low effort, 15 second racist content and for years you got away with it. Your fan base have been supporting you for years and you think to yourself that you are too majestic to get cancelled. Next thing you know, you sleep, you wake up. That majesticness just goes right out the window. And if you clicked on this video, you obviously like commentary videos. So you're most probably aware of a situation that happened to a certain YouTuber called The Manny Show last week. Where last week, this commentary YouTuber, Engwin, posted this video saying, The Manny Show wants my channel deleted. And with it, he shared this email that he got from YouTube that he's being copy striked on his channel from The Manny Show because he used 13 seconds of his content. And one of my videos had a copyright takedown, which is very new to my channel. The video in question that was taken down is why everyone hates The Manny Show. Now, if you've been around YouTube for a long time, you know that copyright be striking a channel because your feelings got hurt it is a very shameful sin it is worse than your sex tape being leaked on the internet and every youtuber knows when you get criticized no matter how much your feelings get hurt you do not strike a channel because if you do you are asking to get bullied you're asking for people to hate you and after that charlie brought more attention to the situation and absolutely shat on Manny's whole reputation and name. So I wanted to march on in here and administer some wedgies and shoot spitballs at these fucking dweebs that are doing this disgusting weenie behavior. So obviously the news got big. All the commentary channels, they smelt blood and drama in the big ocean called internet and everyone started to join Charlie on shitting on this person. Everyone made a video about him on what kind of a a cringe person he is what kind of an unfunny person he is he copy struck the channel but people were making fun of his teeth his face calling his dog ugly and it's pretty natural because when you strike a channel you are asking again to be hated on to be bullied and just a couple of hours ago the manny show has responded to all the youtubers making videos about it and absolutely shitting on him he made a response video and i watched the whole video it turned out the bro got mark Wahlberg in a the movie shooter, all the, everyone was just the FBI, the Homeland Security, the ATF, the police, everyone was absolutely going after them because there's evidence and everyone believed that he killed the president, meaning he striked the channel. And at the end, he came out and he said how innocent he was in this whole situation. He had no idea that this was happening. Not gonna lie, this whole apology video really surprised me. I want to set the record straight about what has happened since I returned from my very first VidCon last week. So... Being a content creator, it's a full-time full -time job, job and it's a ton of work. And my team is literally just me and my friend. So <laughs> ahead of VidCon, I hired an agent to help me manage my monetization sharing. And they went beyond by filing a copyright claim on Enqueen's video and flagging some others. I'd gotten warnings that the Manny Show was copyright striking videos criticizing him, but I didn't think he would notice my channel. Surely he wouldn't do that to me. But he did. I received an email that the Manny Show, but yeah, that he had reported. And one of my videos had a copyright takedown, which is very new to my channel. The video in question that was taken down is why everyone hates the Manny Show. Yeah, I'm the genius who hired them, but never with the intention to suppress any content or take down accounts. Like me, as someone who has been censored by TikTok multiple times, like I am firmly against censorship. So as soon as we learned what had happened, we immediately contacted Enguin to see the video, found no issue with the video, and contacted YouTube to reinstate the video and make things right with Enguin. I immediately fired the agent. You're I fired. also contacted YouTube to remove any claims against any other videos that had, may have been like what caught up in this bullshit. Now, there's a lot of things to go through in this short clip. First of all, all the commentary channels who made videos about the Manny show are looking at the screen all awkwardly. But at the same time, it wasn't their fault. It was just right in front of them that the Manny show, the name was on the email that he copy striked. It is, they would have literally have no other way of finding out. No matter how many years you have experience in making YouTube videos, there are going to be days where some of the things you talk about turn out to be otherwise i've had this incident happen a couple of times to me the one time i don't know if you remember the jinxie sneako beef situation 
where it just turned out the whole thing was just fake. No matter how many years of experience you have, still shit happens. And here he said he hired an agent to handle his monetization on YouTube because he's going to be super busy with VidCon coming up. And that agent took full advantage of the situation, went into a whorehouse, paid only for a sloppy toppy, but he ended up fucking everything that it was moving in that house. He took full advantage of that. That was a very bad reference. But we're all adults here. Basically, he took full advantage of the situation and anyone with any size, anything said about the Manny Show, good or bad, he was going to copy strike it. Not copy, claim it to get the money from that video, but copy strike it. Now, this is where it gets a little bit fishy because Sniper Wolf just two days ago apparently striked a channel and Charlie made a video talking about it. We got the big three. The Manny Show, Tech Lead, and Sniper Wolf. Yep, she took her lack of talent right to the YouTube headquarters here to strike a channel because it hurt her feelings. And literally just a day later, Charlie made another video saying Sniper Wolf did not strike a channel. Because after Charlie posted that first video, Sniper Wolf said, I want to clarify that I did not strike anyone's video. I do not have any pending takedown notice. I believe someone else must have done it on my behalf. Charlie. Charlie responded to her in this situation and then Sniper Wolf responded to Charlie and shared some screenshot that it wasn't actually her. We're not going to get into the details of this. All you need to know was someone from Sniper Wolf's agency again took full advantage of the situation and started striking everyone. Now, this is why I'm 50-50 about the Manny Show. Obviously, when you hire an agent to handle your YouTube monetization, they should know the difference between a copyright claim and a copyright strike it can be that he was striking channels because his feelings was getting hurt but then he realized a quick way out to save his whole image and career is to do what sniper wolf did oh my agency did it my agent did it but at the same time it can 100 percent be true as well maybe the agent actually didn't know what the fuck he was doing or she was doing and absolutely lied in the whole resume it's really a tricky one and i guess we'll never find out what the truth actually was but it doesn't matter because the apology that he made, the way he reacted to all the hate that he was getting online with this video, absolutely saved his image 100%. But at the end of the day, it is my name on the channel. I hired the agent and I take full responsibility. Like to those outraged by this, I am genuinely sorry with what has happened. I respect our community and it it's hard. Like we work really hard on this platform. So I respect you all for what you do. While some of you may disagree with what I do, mine is a comedy channel. And I certainly have no problem with people making fun of me. I've, I've seen a lot of hater video thumbnails and many which are way, way better than mine. Like, have you seen some of these? Like I've laughed at some of the things Engleen and Penguins and others have said. That's some f filthy fish paste right there bro he's standing like a mom about to call the manager up yeah he looks like a karen ready to like speak to the manager real quick the connoisseur of cringe getting off of his throne sensitive cyborg the manny show is a bad actor in fact i am a big fan of penguins aka charlie and love his work and the things that he says the manny show acts like he's a vampire and jokes are the garlic after he said my name I was actually kind of starstruck, but heartbroken at the same time because like he might think I'm Brent Rivera 2.0. <laughs> but am I going to hate him and his content because he said mean things about me? No, my feelings are not hurt. And actually all the things he did say are actually kind of sort of funny. I, I agree with Charlie though. No creator should ever copyright strike another content creator by any means. If you think my comedy is cringe though, or brain rot, that's great. Like, good for you. There are plenty of other things you could watch with the swipe of a finger. And there seems to be plenty of people who do like my comedy and good for them. Thanks fans and subscribers. Oh, and to those hate videos, like I absolutely respect your right to do so uncensored. So keep up the good work. And frankly, not to get back to the thumbnails, but a lot of the thumbnails I've seen are way better than mine. And they actually catch the good side of me. Like Now, first of all, I want to say he 100% cried that night after Charlie made that video making fun of him. If 
Charlie is actually his favorite YouTuber. Second of all, it's absolutely a hard watch watching him trying to make jokes and putting sound effects and texts and things on the screen. But let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the apology that he made. He took full responsibility in this situation. And surprisingly, I liked the video. I still don't know if the whole thing is actually true. The, the agent was involved or not because there's no evidence of it. We're just going by his words. But at the same time, it came genuine. It just changed his whole image in my eyes i don't see him as a whiny baby copy striking channels because his feelings got hurt and the second part is he responded to all the people making fun of him for him not being funny he is 100 percent allergic to comedy in my eyes this is the key point some people will enjoy your content no matter how bad how good how cringe how funny the content is some people are going to hate it some people are going to uh, love it you might like watching this video but there might be a couple of people who just doesn't don't like my face and the way i speak and they're gonna hate on me if you've been on this other side of the screen creating you know that it is 100 there no matter if you're the most loved person on the internet you're still going to get hate that's just a reality of things some people can't handle the hate and th there's no future on the internet if you want to create and you cannot handle hate but in his case he if he's actually genuine with the things he said and he's like i understand you hate me hate me it's fine but there are tens of millions of people who actually love my content shout out to him he definitely earned my respect this whole thing has been super crazy drama all over the internet i never talked about it but a lot of commentary channels they did and like if he's serious genuine or not in this case doesn't matter he just saved his image with this video anyways as usual let me know your thoughts in the comments below thank you for 14k to all the new people who just joined if you enjoyed the video like the video if you're new here you enjoy these daily yapping sessions and you want to see more of them consider clicking kicking click clicking on that subscribe button <laughs> Anyways, on this side of the planet, it is 7 a.m. right now. You're probably 12 hours behind watching this video. You're like 7 p.m. right now. Just going to go make some tea, finish up this video. I appreciate you watching the video all the way through. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.